all right guys good evening so in today's video i want to show us how to do joggers west band or joggers west now here i have my um, elastic this is a two inches or one and a half inch elastic then join in this way now the length of this elastic is the half measurement of the west line now join it in this way then notch all through these edges now this notching is to help me you know fix it on the main band that the main fabric proper so the point that has the joining you know i have already prepared my band the fabric where the rope will come out i stitched and left like three quarter inch gap then i will hold it properly this way then the first thing to do here is to use loose stitch and hold this point now bear in mind that this point is the point the area that the rope will come out from in front right so i'll hold it this way with a loose stitch so i will go ahead as well and hold all those areas i have notched now the reason for the stitching is to make it to be stable or firm so it doesn't shift from its position hold the center back as well the notching coming on the center fold as well so when your notching is being placed at the center fold of the back then stitch it as well you will do this at the four edges of this fabric one in front one at the back at one side and one the other side now this will help you to you know get the midpoint properly and also know where to sew from so this is one of the easiest way you can use to do this it helps to hold them firmly then when you hold this is the third one one of the sides bear in mind that these threads will be removed along the line right after you must have joined to the west line of the main trouser the thread will be removed then cut off your thread lines cut off your threads as shown and then you also hold the last segment or the last area the notches coming on the folded lines right then this is what you have then if you are enjoying this video kindly give me a thumbs up drop a heart emoji to show me that you love what you have just watched don't forget to also share and invite your friends to subscribe to this youtube channel if you're a first time viewer please kindly smash the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up as well so here i am trying to cut out the threads very well bear in mind that this is just you know a measure to make it lap properly so now I, I, will, I will start stitching right i will start stitching the first stitch will be on the west region i will hold this family and then drag the elastic you know to lap family i will stitch so automatically it gives you that boxers feeling or that joggers feeling drag it all through that way and go ahead please if you want to have a full tutorial on how to sew combat joggers you know street wears you know like this video if you like the video i will drop more videos on this and also make sure you you know push um, like subscribe and also share the video so drag it and stitch and sew so this will be how this is how it will come out all true you know and this is how it goes make sure you drag it all through hold this family and drag it all through so automatically the squeeze or the effect will start forming on its own sew it until it, it reaches to that other end the first line you have made make sure that the lines are corresponding and there should be no squeeze there the line should join smoothly so now i have done this i will go ahead now and give a one inch gap or three quarter of an inch gap 
Now that gap is to enable the rope pass through firmly, then stitch the midline. Now that middle line is uh, very important that it should must be sewn with the same measurement so that the rope will be able to pass freely, right? It all depends on how wide you want the gap to be. But when you are stitching, please make sure you drag it out all through this way. You know, drag the elastic, both the downside and upside, you know, to make it relax. Don't allow any area to squeeze as you are stitching or as you are sewing it. Go ahead, drag it all through. So if you have watched this video to this very point, I believe you are enjoying the video. Please don't forget to like this video. Drop a heart emoji and tell me also where you are watching from. So stitch it all through. This this will take you a little, a little bit of time, right? So don't be in a haste to do this band. You know, carefully do this. So subsequently, you can do it without much delays, much stress. So stitch all through to this very point. So once you have sewn or once you are sewing all through to this very point, this will be what, um, you know, you will carefully take your time to do. Look at how I am stretching it now. As you can see how I am dragging both the up and the down. And I so make sure that my hands are straight as I go ahead in the sewing process. So after this now, the next thing to do here now is to attach this on the west part of the trouser. You know, and make sure that when you are cutting the west line of the trouser, it is either you use the real hip measurement on the waist or you use waist measurement plus extra 7 to 10 inches, right? Depends on how big the person measurement is or extra 5 inches would be ideal, would be okay. But then if it does not have zip, of course, such waist does not have zip. So it's advisable you use the hip measurement to cut on the waist in order to enable it to enter properly. But the one you will use extra 5 to 7 or 10 inches is the one that will have zip. But of course, this one does not have zip at all in the front um, panel, right? It's just a rope. So here I imagine the point where the rope will come up from to the front panel. So match it properly from that center joining and make sure that the allowances are being opened very well. And then you drag it as well. You know gently drag it as well then stitch it all through there and then stitch the back as well so the same procedure you did on the front and the waistline joining is what you are going to do now the simplest way to do this is what i am showing you another method might not be as clear as this this is one of the simplest ways you can lay your hands on so when i um, held the both the center front and center back you know I can now start stitching the rest or I can still go ahead to hold the sides and proceed to stitch the waist so however you want to do it you know you are covered just follow the directions I am giving I am going ahead as well to hold the sides you know this will make the work easy and you know make the band to be evenly distributed around the waist without much problems you can now start now to stitch or you can still hold the third place which is the side west and go from the other one to start sewing from it so here when you are done doing this so this will be um, how you go about it so you can now start from here and start stitching with the same procedure of dragging the west line as well to lap you see the essence of tacking or holding the band to the waistline of the trouser it makes the work to be balanced and easy to fix or else you will have difficulties in fixing this type of band so now after this the next thing i will do here is to you know go and weave the joining areas in some cases you can top stitch if 
it's that bulky but if it's not you can leave it that way and then weave all through and don't top stitch use your steam iron to iron out or to fold it downwards in order to make it to lap or balance properly so when you are done doing that so this is what it will look like right so you drag it all through and make sure that all the dragging is lapping from the original um, packing you have made so that no parts of the trouser will be spilled over or the over so you go ahead and arrange it keenly please don't be the head that's why i've taken my time to arrange this so you know that in joining it it does not go as smooth as you might wish or as you might think so stitch all through as you are sewing you are dragging the waistline elastic you know to lap from the allowances left on the packing so all through here you hold it all through you know gently you stitch all through from here and make sure it's lapping properly as shown all right guys so i believe you have enjoyed the video don't forget to like share comment and also tell me where you're watching from you know so join the next to do now is to go and weave after weaving this area so we can iron it out so this is the result or this is what we have thanks guys for watching see you guys in my next video i will pass the rope here and we are done with our joggers waistline bye bye for now